What is up guys, how are you doing? So today we're doing a weird unboxing because we have this. It's a 10,000 hour milliamp hour external battery. So uh, let, let, let's take a look inside. So if we look into the box, you get this, which is, uh, thanks Tom. You get this, which is a nice little compass that attaches to your external battery. And then you get the external battery itself, which comes in this nice plastic bag, which taking off, thank you, Tom. Taking off, you can see it's, it's actually got a solar panel on the top, which is a rarity, as well as these orange, like rubberized sides, as well as the protector of the USB slots. And this side's just kind of blank. So if we take this off, you can see the two USB slots. One's two amp, one's one amp. And then there's a power button here and pressing this, once we'll show you that, press and hold and it'll turn on this LED and if you tap it now, it goes into SOS mode. Also in the box, apart from that and that, you get the micro SD cable that you'd expect, the micro SD cable, the micro USB cable, I can words, and a user manual telling you how it all works. That's all well and good, but it's kind of pointless if this doesn't work in a drop test because it's drop water and dust resistant. So. Let's, let's go drop it. Right, so we are currently, so you can see Tom's all the way down there with manning the other camera. I've got this. And what would you call the height, Tom? I'd say like 10 meters? Oh yeah, no, I agree. So um, there, there was a slight mistake in my previous bit. It's 10 foot, not 10 meters. Um, you, can see, you can see noodles. Noodles are gonna be scared to death in a second. Anyway, so that's, um, I'm, I'm trying not to fall myself as well. Yeah. And right, so that's recording. Recording. Right. We're gonna drop it in three, two, one. Oh, that was a bounce. Let's go take a look. Oh, that was a bounce. This is it after it's been dropped, and I just noticed there's a green light here, and that means it's actually charging on solar power, which is cool. And if you look on the outside, there's sort of minor scuffage, as I'm going to call it from now on, there and there, and the plastic's actually separated ever so slightly. You can see it, but otherwise it is completely fine, which is an achievement in itself. So now that we've tested it can drop without issue, let's make sure it's water resistant by making sure it's waterproof. So Tom's gonna drop it in and I'm gonna hit the timer at roughly the same time. Actually, just a side note before we do this, they are roughly the same size. So three, two, one, go. And we're gonna leave that in there for five minutes while it charges. And we are looking for no escaping air bubbles. And as I say that, there are escaping air bubbles. Quick side note, um, I had to take the screen, the phone off to change the timer, so we're actually gonna stop it, reset it, and restart it. So it's actually gonna be in for roughly six minutes. So let's take a zoom in and take a good look in, shall we, as well, while we're here. Uh, dun, dun, dun. So you can see, yeah, you can kind of make out the air bubble. Let's go a bit closer. So you can make out the air bubble right there. That is a persistent air bubble. Then looking down, there are a couple that have clinged to the side, but I think that was just air that was trapped as it came in. And then that's about it. So we'll see if that green light is still on in five minutes. It's crazy because it's plugged in and charging. So um, we'll see. And just if you're interested, the timer is currently on 45 seconds. So you yeah, have a few more minutes of waiting. Let's, let's zoom out and wait. Dun, 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 very dramatic right here. So we're at the halfway mark and bloody hell, it's still alive. Um, so this, is, this has been in there longer than my phone was. Anyway, I also brought this. For, so the plan is, as soon as the five minutes are up, we're gonna take it out, dry it off, leave it for a little while, and then we'll 
see how functional it is. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And as far as we're concerned, it's only gone and survived. So we're going to take out this, let it drain as much as possible. Oh, just got my phone wet. I can't tell if it's leaking or if it's just kind of covered in a lot of water. And oh, hang on, the button just pressed itself. I can hear the water inside. So let's, um, let's, let's dry this a bit. So we're going to dry the exterior, open up that port and see if the USB ports are wet. So that button is auto pressing. And if I press down on the solar panel, you can see there is water there. I think this will be the all deciding thing. If there's water in here, I don't think it will function. Uh, but there isn't actually, surprisingly. Or well, is there, is that water? It was, there was one drop of water and there was just some along the line. So what might, we might have survived. As I shake it, water is coming out of it. So I just shook it a bit. You see the water has reappeared. So what we will do is we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit, uh, let it dry out. And I'll probably come back tomorrow morning as far as I'm concerned and roughly 30 seconds as far as you guys are concerned to see if it's still fully functional. And if it is, this, this will be amazing. So I was about to turn this off because as you can see those lights were on. I press and held the power button as you do to turn it off. And I realized that nothing happened. The LED light didn't even turn on. So either the LED light is broken or the button is, or it might just be temporary. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna take it apart and take a look because when you press on this, you can see there's a gap forming between the solar panel on here. So I think some water might have gotten in there. Open it up, take a look on the inside and hope that it's a-okay. Because it might just be fine and it might just be a hiccup. Right, so I have my trusty toolkit with me which is massive and won't fit in frame. What we can do though is open it up, grab a couple of screwdrivers. Uh, that one and that flathead, yes it is. And whoops. And what we will do is spinning this around. I'm going to assume there are screws under each of these. Let's find out. And these screws are either really long or retaining. I think the answer is really long. So the others are coming out without issues. So I think it's just that one screw. And um, that is the side it actually fell on, I just realized. So it might have broken the screw mechanism when it fell on it. So looking inside, there has been water that's gotten in under both sides. So this is, oh, hang on, let's show this to camera. This is starting to get a touch concerning. After having taken it apart, you can see the water is well and truly in there. So that is all covered in water. The solar panel has some water on it. The plan is we're gonna see if, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover this in this towel, dry it out and see what happens. And I'm kind of glad we opened it up because who knows how long have, <laughs> it would have been like that. Mm. Um, Side note, just, just be careful when you're opening this yourself. Um, if this does die, worst case scenario is we have a solar panel. So, you know, always look on the bright side. So I've separated the circuitry and all the electronics from the plastic casing. So it's just a matter of letting it dry at this point and seeing what happens. Quick side note, if I do that, you can see it's actually still powered on, the lights are still on. So there is power running through this. It's just a question of, A, does the button work? Which is no, I still can't get it to turn off. It seems like it's a water touching thing that's turning on and off. And B, will the LEDs turn on and off? Oh, they have, they have, they've just come back to life. So th there's hope yet. Whew. We're gonna leave it 24 hours and find out. I can control it and everything. And you can see it's actually a three by three LED array, which is kind of cool. But we're gonna dry this off fully, leave it 24 hours, or in your case, like roughly three seconds. So as promised, I left it for roughly 48 hours and I have it here. And if you can, I'm not sure how well you can see it. So let's 
splice in a couple of other shots. But the power LED for it being charged is currently lit, which is ridiculous because it was underwater for over six minutes and it was dropped from roughly 10 feet and it seems to work completely fine. I put it all back together and outside of the fact that there's a screw missing because I was right that connector got snapped basically. So it is slightly loose at one point which if I can sort of come to you and show you let's come over here. So looking at it right here you can see there's a slight split and when I go to separate it it does exactly that. It does take a bit of effort but it happens so I wouldn't suggest testing this for future waterproofness. Also you can make out whether rubber doesn't seal properly. That was an issue before as well but has become more of an issue as time has gone on and well since I rebuilt it actually. So you can see that's probably where most of the air, well the USB port had only one drop of water on it so it wasn't too bad actually. Outside of that this still works and perhaps most amazingly charging and the LED light which is currently on strobe mode are completely functional. One of the only issues is that when I did take this apart I accidentally broke one of the clips holding the solar panel in place. This is an issue anyway because if you hold it down too hard it does break so you have to be careful with that one but otherwise this is great. I have to say for a 10,000 milliamp hour battery that can drop roughly 10 feet and last underwater for roughly five minutes if not more. I'm sure we could have left it in for longer and it would have just about survived. I have to say, considering the conditions in which it also charges, this is definitely worth 15 to 20 pounds. Anyway guys, if you like the video make sure to hit like, if you didn't I'm not quite sure what you're doing here, you are here though so thanks I guess. Make sure to click up here to see the last video which is coincidentally from something completely unrelated to this and then click up here to see a random video I haven't picked yet and I'm not telling you what it is because that would be cheating. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.